Greetings all and welcome back. We have an exciting day today because we're going to talk about reading notation for the guitar. Now, if you are brand new to guitar or if you have been playing guitar for a while, you've just never actually read standard music notation on guitar, this video, this video is for you. We're going to talk about the three, well, we're going to talk about three notes on the first string. Of course, there are many more notes, but today we're going to talk about three notes. Now, in reading notation, there's two main things to decipher. One is what is the note, meaning A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or any, any of the sharps and flats. What is the note? And for two, how long does that note last? So the beauty of music notation is it tells us these things in one image. We have the note positioned on the staff, and we have the type of note. Uh, quarter note, half note, whole note, and such. Now, I also, bef before we get started, please download the pages uh, that are linked at the bottom of this video for our first string note reading so you can follow along as the tutorial progresses. And after you have your pages pulled up, we can get started. So as you can see in our three notes, we have that E note that's in the top space of the staff. And that E note says open. So that's going to be that first string open. The next note is on the top line of the staff. The line is going right through the middle of that note. That is an F note. And as we can see, that F note says first fret. So we're going to have our finger behind that first fret. And lastly, we have a note completely above that top line which is our G note, which says third fret. So we have open E, first fret F, third fret G. And when you play these, as we've talked about before, use fingers that are respective of the fret. So we'll use our first finger for the first fret, third finger for the third fret. That way we can keep the hand in the same position and we don't have to shift around unnecessarily. Now, you are going to see some finger markings on those as well. And for one, the zero and the one and the three tell us what finger is suggested that we use. Now, don't confuse those for fret numbers. They often coincide and they can be a hint at this point as far as where uh, what fret is being written, but they are finger numbers. That's for the left hand. For the right hand, what I want to do at this point is I just want to walk our two fingers. So we're going to use our index finger and our middle finger. That's what that M and I is on that first exercise. And we're just going to walk two fingers. So when we play all of these exercises, we're going to aim not to uh, use the same finger every time, but we're going to aim to walk our index and middle finger. So we've talked about E in the top space, F with a line going through it, G completely above the line. That's the first step. The other thing was how long does each note last? And you'll see in the legend on the page that we have a note that has a filled in note head and that's worth one beat. That is a quarter note. We have a note that also has a stem but has a hollow note head. That is a half note worth two beats. We have a dotted half note, which is that same note with a little dot next to it, worth three beats. And finally, we have a whole note that is a hollow circle with no stem uh, attached to it, and that's worth four beats. So those are the values that we are going to work with today. Quarter note, half note, dotted half note, whole note, worth one count, two counts, three counts, four counts. So if you can, go ahead and pull up exercise one. And if you look at it, you will notice that if we look at the first eight notes, they are all quarter notes and they're all in that top space, which means those first eight notes are going to be E. So, okay, we know the first eight notes are E. We know the first eight notes are all quarter notes, which means they're all going to be one count. Everything will be perfectly even. That'll sound something like this. Thank you. 
Looks like we go to an F next on the first fret. Eight of those. Six, seven, eight, up to a G. And for our last measure, we had kind of a, a mixture of notes. So as you've noticed, the way I've kind of labeled them is when we have a repeated note, we didn't rewrite that fingering, zero, one, or three. Uh, and we, when we had a note that changed, we did write that, we, we did write that fingering in. So that's gonna be valuable now, but soon after you practice all of these exercises, you're gonna to get to know those very well and you're not gonna need the finger numbers anymore. So with that said, let's play exercise one together again. Uh, here we go, I'll count to four which that time signature, that four over four at the beginning means there's four beats in every measure. You'll notice exercise four has three beats in every measure. There's a three over four, three quarter notes in every measure. So let's do number one again together. Here we go. I'll give you four beats for free and we'll start. One, two, three, four. to the F. To the G. Two, three, four. And there you have it. That is music notation that you are playing, you are reading standard music notation on guitar, and I bet that was pretty pretty simple. That's all it is. We'll have, sure, different note values, different amounts of notes in there, but you now have the foundation of reading music notation on guitar. What if we try to do maybe the first, uh, let's, let's, let's also do exercise number two. So again, four beats in every measure, but now we have a bit more of a mixture of half notes and whole notes. As you can see, our first measure I have all quarter notes, but then we have a whole note in the second measure, lasting four counts. When we look at the fifth measure and sixth measure, we have two half notes, which last two counts each. So let's do that. Let's give that a shot. Go ahead and pull up exercise number two. Again, uh, four beats in every measure. So I will count to four before we begin and we'll be off to the races. And again, that counting to four will set our tempo, will set our pace that we're gonna play this at. So here we go, exercise two. Starting on that open E, uh, one, two, three, four. And there you have it. You have played your second exercise in music notation on guitar. So in, uh, in that page that you have downloaded, there are two additional exercises that use these same notes. So same thing, we have E, F, and G. Those are the only notes that we're gonna use. And the only values that we're gonna use is that quarter note worth one count, half note worth two counts, dotted half note worth three counts, and that whole note with four counts. Uh, this will be a bit of a series. Today we're doing string number one, but we're gonna go through all six guitar strings so we're comfortable reading um, common melodies. And after we go through our six strings, we'll work our way up the neck as well. So this is video number one in our exploration in, mu in music notation. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully it was easier than you thought. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Cheers.